In this snip, I'm going to show you how to set and remove the read-only attribute to files with PowerShell. There are a couple different ways to change the read-only attribute of files, so let's go ahead and take a look at some examples. First, I'm going to run a script I created that will create some files and directories for me to use. The script also sets a handful of these files to read-only. Both of these PS1 files will be available on the TechSnips GitHub repository. Now that I've run my setup script, you can see that I have a series of folders now, and each of these folders has 10 text files within them. The first file I'm going to work with is this test file.txt. When I right click and look at the properties, you can see that the read only attribute is currently not checked off, meaning this file is not read only. Now let's jump into the examples. The first thing I'm going to do is run get child item on the test file. This will output a few of the properties for that file, but not the read only property. So let's pipe that now to select star. You can now see that there is a property called is read only, and it is currently set to false, which we confirmed by looking at the file properties. Now for the first method, I'm going to run get child item on the test file and store that in a variable called dollar sign source. Next, I'm going to use the setItemProperty command to change the isReadOnly property to true. To do this, I'm going to pass the $Source variable to the path parameter. And for the name parameter, it is looking for the property we want to set. So I will pass it the isReadOnly property. And finally, it is going to expect a value for the property. So I'm passing $True to the value parameter. Now if I run get child item again to look at the properties, you can see that is read only is now set to true. Let's go confirm that in Explorer. When I right click on the file and click properties, read only is now checked off. The second method is going to be very similar, but is going to require much less typing. First, let's go ahead and run get child item on the test file and store it in the dollar $source variable. Now, let's see what happens when we run $Source.IsReadOnly. You can see that IsReadOnly is set to true because we set it to true in the previous example. In order to reset the ReadOnly property to false, all we need to do is run $Source.IsReadOnly equals dollar sign false. Now, when we run get child item on that file, you will see that is read only is now set back to false. Finally, let's go over how to set the read only property recursively in all subfolders. First, I'm going to run get child item against the path of my root demo folder. And this time, I'm going to specify the recurse parameter. This is how we recursively get the files from within all the subfolders under the root demo folder. Then I'm piping that to where is read only equals true. This will recursively return all the files that I've marked as read only. Now let's go ahead and store those files in a variable called dollar sign source. There are two options next. First, we can run set item property. For path, we'll use dollar source dot full name, which includes the full path of the files. For name, we'll specify is read only again, and for value, we'll use false. The other option, which is a little shorter as you can see, is to just pipe dollar source to set item property with the same values for name and value. Both will have the same effect, so it's just a matter of preference. Now let's rerun get child item to display any files where read only is true. It returns no results because we set all the read only files to false in the previous command. And that is how to set and remove the read-only attribute to files with PowerShell.